What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we are covering my five favorite versions of cool water because I get asked all the time. Some of you know what you know kind of my taste is when it comes to these because believe it or not there are some that are pretty mediocre and there's one that I just don't like. I actually did a not so favorable review on. It's a newer release but some of you have seen that video but that's not going to be featured here. But these five in particular for my particular taste in my opinion are the way to go if you're looking for some of the best offerings Davidoff has in their cool water line. So let's discuss them. Stay tuned. Starting with the most potent of them all, we're talking about cool water intense. So this is immensely powerful, youthful, playful, a little bit of a bubblegum feel to it. A lot of ambroxan, even though it's not listed. It's coconut, amber, and I forgot the other note. I want to say vetiver. And you do get a coconut amber smell, but a lot of bubblegum sage type of feel to this one. Uh, a little sweet, but extremely powerful. This is an easy on the trigger kind of fragrance. You can get this in the sub $40 price point for a 4.2 ounce bottle like this from Discounters. After recording this, I'll try to have links to everything down below as best I can for you guys. This is kind of a must own. Now you have to like the more youthful, playful, you know, slightly juvenile fragrances because even though it says cool water intense, it is not an intense version of cool water. Sadly, it does not smell like cool water, even a little bit. It's kind of strange. It's a great fragrance. It's in the cool water line. It just doesn't smell like cool water. No greens, no aquatic tones, anything like that. Just playful, easy to like, crowd pleaser, super potent, not cloying, not so cloying that you can't wear two or three sprays in the summertime. It's going to scream off the skin, be warned, but all the way into the cold, it will cut through the cold no problem. Big time compliment getter. Again, very youthful, playful, a little on the juvenile side. You got to like the bubble gum, coconut amber, amber wood, and broxen ish type of feel. But for the money, if you're looking for a beast that smells really good, Cool Water Intense is that fragrance. Now, this next one's kind of like Cool Water Intense Light. That's why I say sage bubble gum feel because it's here. It's even in the name. This is one of the limited edition flankers called Grapefruit and Sage. So this kind of smells like a I guess not as beastly not as dense take on cool water intense cool water grapefruit and sage it's as simple as the name sounds it's a uh, less acidic grapefruit smells more of a creamy grapefruit here you have a little bit of that bubblegum feel that fresh aromatic tone from the sage but as it dries there's a little bit of a fresh spicy tone with a bit of a musky feel even though they only list grapefruit and sage a little bit more going on. It could be the sage having different, different characteristics, but I think there's just other fragrance oils. While not quite the beast that the Intense is, this is an above average fragrance. I easily get eight hours on skin, two hours of really solid projection, and this is about as versatile as they come. While it still has kind of the youthful, playful vibe of the Intense, it's not as bubblegum and not as sweet. This is a little bit more fresh, musky, and slightly spiced aromatic. So this works in much more situations, is, is gonna appeal to a lot more people, I think. And it's not as in your face. Again, it's a strong performer. This is a very strong fragrance. It's just not quite as strong as the Intense. And I think the versatility and ease of wear and ease, you know, it's just easy to like, I think is what makes me appreciate this one so much. It's, it's really good, guys. I strongly suggest you get your hands on this one. It's Cool Water, Grapefruit and Sage. Now, sadly, this is the weakest performing one of the bunch that we're talking about today. I touch on performance because I know it's important to a lot of people, but if you want the best summertime aquatic of the bunch, at least of the ones I've tried, then you want to check out Cool Water Wave. This was actually the same bottle that is the very first unboxing first impressions video on this channel, as well as the second individual full fragrance review on this channel. My very first review on this channel was Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. The follow-up was an unboxing. I got this at Nordstrom Rack. And I stand by everything I said four years ago at the recording of this about this fragrance. I, I really love this one. Performance is nothing special. Four, maybe five hours if you're lucky on skin. I typically do at least 10 sprays when I spray this one because it is not a really strong fragrance. You can damn near bathe in this. You're not going to offend anybody. It kind of comes across as a little bit of Invictus Aqua meets 
uh, a bit of spicy tones, like there's a Sichuan pepper that brings a little bit of this quick fiery heat that kind of fleets, it doesn't stay for a long time. With some of the green feel to the original cool water, this stuff is so good. It smells kind of like a spicy shower gel. It's, you know, a lot of you've heard the term shower gel scent. This is very much a shower gel scent, but this is a really good one. Sub $30 price point, you can get a 4.2 ounce, even a 200 ml if you're interested. Uh, you will have to reapply after a few hours. Your mileage may is gonna vary. You may not even get four or five hours. You may get two or three. You may get five or six, I don't know. But for the money, it's worth trying. If you want one of the better summertime, mega fresh, slightly metallic aquatics, a little bit of a shower gel feel, you're gonna wanna check this one out. I still stand firmly behind this. Hell, it's my third favorite cool water flanker. It is Davidoff Cool Water Wave. Now, some of you are going to be surprised that this is number two and not number one. Because of the flankers, yes, it's the best flanker. We're talking about the Parfum. Cool Water Parfum is the best flanker they've ever put out. This one still does kind of smell like cool water. <laughs> so, a lot of the flankers are bad about not tying to the DNA. This one does. This one has... A nice sharp lemon. It's a little bit of an earthy, smoky vetiver feel. And even though they don't list Ambroxan, I do get a little bit of Ambroxan here. There's some pink pepper for vibrance, a little bit of sweet, spicy hit to this one. More on the spicy side than the sweet because pink pepper is a little on the aromatic side as well. So this one, long lasting, not crazy strong in your face, but pronounced, refined. This is probably the most serious of the five that we're featuring in this video. This one dresses up really well. This is a signature scent type of fragrance right here. I'm a huge fan of this fragrance. Some of you that are regulars here on the channel, you've heard me rave about this one in the past. If you can get your hands on this one, get it. I'll try to have links down below. This is a 50 ml. And you don't need a ton of sprays. It's a five spray fragrance for me. That's plenty. I'll smell it when I walk by you. You'll smell it for you know eight to 10, even into the 12 hour range, depending on how the day goes and the climate and settings and so on. But it's a great fragrance. Like I said, when it comes to cool water flankers, not the original, it's definitely the best one and the one that gets the biggest stamp of approval from me on this channel. If you haven't gotten your nose on cool water parfum yet and you love the line or like the original and you want a kind of enhanced take on it, you want to check this one out. So there's a reason I kept stressing that the parfum is the best flanker because I still believe that the best version of cool water is cool water. That's right. The original is still good to this day. This is a rebuy. I've had this 4.2 ounce bottle for a couple years now. I have the mild deodorant spray. I've had 40 ml bottles in the past. I mean, for you know, two decades, this was my little brother's signature scent. He got a new bottle every year for Christmas. It's kind of like Green Irish Tweed. I know that's kind of the thing of what they were going for. Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And a little bit of Aspen, for those of you that know about that, from Coty. This, however, is a bright, minty aquatic. A lot of minty green tones, sea notes, super aquatic, saltwater marine. This is a great everyday fragrance. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of guys that have worn a lot of bottles of this over the years. It's still a solid performer. I still always get it minimum six hours when I spray this fragrance in. It's wi widely available. When you go to rack stores, you'll probably see this. Most of the time I see it at different Marshalls, Ross Dress for Left, less different places. In different bottle sizes, you can find it easily from a multitude of discounters online. This is not hard to find, and it's not hard to like, in my opinion. Some people will tag it with the old man smell. It's usually the younger generation. Uh, typically, people in my age range in their you know, 30s to 40s, 50s, 60s range, kind of those decades and those generations. That's, that's who grew up on this fragrance, basically. Um, and that's who's going to have the greatest appreciation for it. I'm not saying younger men can't enjoy cool water in the teens and 20s. It's easy to like. I don't think it's ever going to get old. It's timeless, in my opinion. It is one of the all-time greats for men des men's designers, and it's always cheap. And you can get it in a variety of bottle sizes, 40 mLs, 50 mLs, 120 ml, 125 mLs like this, 200 mLs. Deodorant sprays, shower gels, aftershaves. They got a little bit of everything going on with this scent profile because it always works, always has, always will. The greatest version of Cool Water, still the original Cool Water Eau de Toilette. 
Well, that's my five favorites. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What's your favorite version of Cool Water? Was it one of these fives? Is it a different one? Do you like the Street Fighter or Aquaman flanker? Because, yes, they are the same fragrance in a different bottle. I have the Aquaman flanker. That's why I didn't get the... the uh, the Street Fighter one. There's a few others that I, I recently got reborn. Eau de Parfum. I haven't spent enough time with it to warrant it being on here. So potentially that could be in a revamped top five down the line. I don't know. I haven't been spending time with it. I've never tried the Eau de Toilette of reborn. Oceanic Edition is the one I was saying I just don't like. I know there's some people that do. It just doesn't smell good on my skin. If you want to see what I really think about that, type in TLTG Cool Water Oceanic Edition. Not a favorable view. Go watch that review. But until next time, I will say, if you get your hands on any of the five that I do love the most, and you give them a spray now, you'll probably end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.